Hi everyone, let's talk about Millennium Blades set rotation. And this is the cover of the slipcase. I'll put that down now because I really like this shiny nice cover for it. So, what does it come with? It comes with a ton of new cards if you just want to play Millennium Blades. And seriously, loads of cards. Enough to make the store deck. The, the store deck, you can't really see it on camera. This huge thing after I've played the whole game with it. Well, the whole solo game. It's still remaining with a huge amount of cards. Apart from the core cards, I'm not sure how many there are. There's a decent amount of core cards, but you use, I think, five expansion sets, four premium sets and three master sets. I'm not sure if that's in entirely right. In a store deck, that's what this comes with. It comes with that many and a ton of promo cards, which we didn't really look at. I only looked at one. You, you use three of them plus an extra silver and extra bronze for prizes in a tournament. So a lot of new cards. If you had the Kickstarter edition or you can get access to the promos, there's a whole, the, there were three boxes of more of extra promo cards in my, uh, my pack as well. I'm sure you know, the promos will be available elsewhere. So just tons and tons of games. There are, I think three new characters or four new characters. Well, I could look at the box, couldn't I really? There are four new characters and there are new starter decks as well so even more variety in your game it gives you you know rules where you can start with things other than just the starter decks if you want to it gives you the cooperative thing that you saw in the playthrough and the the only thing that changes you know he affects you know sometimes he affects all of the players sometimes he just affects the person with the highest star value as their uh, their top card and his deck box value changes, the amount of points he gets from that at the end of the tournament. But yeah, this it's very flexible to be played with a big number of players. The So the, the co-op mode, it, it comes with how many bosses? I think it comes with four. Yep, four, four co-op bosses that will all act very differently. I've only seen this one, the, uh, the Druid King, the Return of the Druid Kings. I've only seen that one so far. But, you know, it's very nice. He's very keen on clashing a lot and making you flip cards. But it's it's all in the name of stopping your progress. Because if you're just allowed free reign, even with the time limit, you can create quite a nice deck. Especially if you're not holding a camera and talking about what you're doing. 20 minutes is, is far and away enough to be able to get something decent going. But with these wrinkles in there as well, with the boss's deck and his accessories and things, there is... There is an accessory in there that I can't quite reach, but it was it was making us just clash constantly. If, if he played a, a card that was a higher star value than your top card, then something bad would happen. You know, there's, there's even more variety in those accessories. You can adjust the difficulty as well. If you're finding it too hard, he only has one accessory. If you're finding it too easy, he, you put three accessories out for him. And, you know, you could always adjust as well. You could adjust the time limit if you think you're having too much time. The cell, I, I mentioned the cell markers. There's there's some ambiguity in the rules there uh, based on how many of those you should be using. You know, you could adjust that. You could give yourself fewer so you can get less money going, which means less variety in the cards that you can buy. So you'd have to rely on your character's power more and the, the cards that you've been given. Try and make something work with what you have rather than having, you know, endless pockets to be able to do things in the store deck. The co-op mode also, for us anyway, gives a really big positive to Millennium Blades because I won't get the box. It, it was in my top 10. It's a, it's a huge, huge long box. It comes with a ridiculous number of cards in it, as you can imagine. But a lot of those uh, sets were kind of, not off limits, but we would kind of read the description or have a look through the cards and see that, well, these are all about clashing and making the other person do something. And if you've seen some of my other videos, then we don't play like that. We play very peacefully and we are trying to build engines out of these cards, trying to get the most points and the perfect positioning of your cards and things. We are not interested at all in messing each other up, but a boss that we are cooperatively fighting against I, you know, all bets are off. I'll do anything against a virtual opponent. So all of these sets that we wouldn't be using in our two player games, suddenly the whole box is available for us. So if you are, you know, a, a Care Bear player as well, then that opens up a whole new dimension to a lot of the cards in Millennium Blades. It also, it, it doesn't really, make the game very quick 
because there is inevitably a point when you need to set up the store deck, which takes a lot of time just, just from shuffling. You want it to all be shuffled and nice and varied. And to do that with such a huge amount of cards is, you know, takes a bit of time choosing the cards in the first place if you're changing your store deck. The advantage of all of that is that you don't have to do that every game. You can stay with the same store deck, especially in this co-op mode. You, as I said, you've got this much of the store deck undiscovered. So just shuffling this back up at the end of the game and using it for your next game, you're not really going to get that much overlap. You're going to see a lot of new stuff. And so you don't have to change it every game. When you do, it's going to take up a lot of time. But when you don't, and you just have to do this, it's a one round game of Millennium Blades. Normally the games of Millennium Blades go for three rounds. So three times what you just saw. So the, and there would be more players, you know, taking time in the tournament phases and things. So the length of Millennium Blades is, is not a negative, but it's certainly a reason why the normal game has not been played as much as we might have played it. I think I can't remember how many times we've played it in the year or so that we've had it. Maybe five times I've played it, which is it's quite good for a game this long to get that many plays. I really did like it. It was in my top ten and everything. But playing it for only one round, it's got that advantage of you can have a quick, you know, a quick forty-minute game of Millennium Blades, a, a cooperative game, which is really nice. The downside of that though is you don't, so the, it was an upside that you don't go through this because you know it's, it's all free to explore next time. You can see more of it next time you play. The downside is you don't have that part in Millennium Blades where when it's a competitive game, you can see what the other person is doing. And although we're not fighting or anything like that, you, can, you know what each other are doing. And the person who wins that tournament now knows that uh, you know, I, I know what they've got and what they're going to be trying to do. I really need to improve it. And the other person knows you know, what tricks they're using. Can I use any of those tricks? Can I, you know, I, I'm 20 points behind in this tournament. I really need to find something new. I can't just slightly improve on this, uh, the deck that I'm taking to the tournament. I really need to revamp it for the next tournament. So that element of kind of refinement and evolution of the things that you take into the tournament is missing because you're only playing one thing. There is a multi-round version where you can play kind of a campaign, but really just a huge game where you play against all of the bosses in a row. So there are absolutely ups and downs in Millennium Blades. It's not just that set rotation adds all of these things and it just, you know, it's just improvement after improvement. There are a couple of drawbacks where you know, it's, it's, it's just situational. If, if you want to play a co-op game, you're just going to be having a shorter experience. And if you need that setup time, the setup time could be, you know, the, it's, it's a big chunk of the time you'll be devoting to that small co-op game. Uh, for, for people who are just playing competitive game, it's, it's, you know, just a standard expansion. It's just adding a ton more cards, a ton more variety, a ton more jokes and references and things. You know, all of the, most of the cards are references to things. I'm sure people will have picked up on that if you've seen you know, some of the shows and things that I have, and I know the base game's got references to Final Fantasy and James Bond and things in there. You know, there was that Saved by the 90s thing that had the, you know, that had, you know, the Fresh Prince on the back. You know, tons and tons of references is what is a big part of Millennium Blades. Uh, yeah, so it's it's not just, it's it's a really, really good expansion. It's, it's really good that I can play it co-op now. We have the option to do that, and we can have a quick experience as long as the deck is already set up. It's, you know, it can be surprising. It's good that you can go through that deck, but at the same time, you're, sacrifice, you're sacrificing time that you would otherwise be using to evolve your own deck. Just a really, really good expansion. And, you know, I'm not sure what the future is for Millennium Blades, but certainly with the base game and this, you will have cards to keep you going for a long, 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 long time. You know, just by using separate decks, never mind the permutations of combining the different sets together just a ton of content. You know, you've got more modes now, you've got more variety than ever before. And that's what Millennium Blade set rotation is all about. Thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you for the next game. Bye.